Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. In this episode I bring my Amiga 600 in modern times. I show you how to install Amiga OS 3.2 um, on SD card in the Amiga 600. So I um, refurbished this Amiga 600 in previous episodes. I put the link in the description. And so um, enjoy the video and let's start it. So here we are on the bench and I show you the parts we are needed. It's um, a GoTech. It normally looks like this. I opened the case. This is only the case with the with the display, and I put temporarily an OLED display and a rotary encoder on this. It's more convenient. I will in the future build this in instead of the uh, floppy disk. And this OLED and the rotary corner on top, or something like this. So then we need an SD to IDE adapter, an SD card. I have a SD card adapter with a micro SD, an angle connector for the IDE port. You can also use a ribbon cable. I don't want the ribbon cable. I want this. It's a, a better solution. And the Amiga 600 is open. And under here we have uh, the the uh, um, kickstart. I have already built in the kickstart 3.2 so let's open this up and I can show you so this out, this out, this out So you can see it here. There's a new Kickstart ROM underneath. For this, pull the old one out and get the new one in. So that's all part we need for this. So put this back in here. Close this. The first we do is To use a little bit of electrical tape and isolate the back. Let's not shorten on the shielding.
So, and then we put the angle connector to the SD card adapter. We open this up and put this in here. Now you see here is the metal shielding and the contacts can con can uh, shorten out by the shielding. So that's not possible. Put the SD card in. And the first step is ready. So for the next step we use the GoTech. And there we put the ribbon cable on here and the power cable on here. Huh? It's connected. Now I put this out of the case. So looks a little bit crazy. But it's always prototyping. So now we have the hardware installed. Now we need the USB drive and put the disks on there from the PC of Amiga O. S 3.2 and we plug this into the TV and then we install 3.2. So I have go. my Amiga 600 plugged in to my PC and I will capture the picture from the, from the screen. So that's the reason why you're looking at a big black screen and so now we start the installation. So here we have the workbench screen and to start the installation we use install and the first step is we have to prep the SD card. There we use HD tools and the HD toolbox. If you see, the program is scanning now the SCSI device address. So here we have, if this not detected, you need to change drive type, then you click here and define new, define new and then read configuration, continue. So on the SD card, it's mostly all you have to do. It's auto detection, then you click OK. And you have your drive detected. Click OK. Click Continue. So, and you have here. Then partition drive. This one is FDH0, FDH1. It's bootable. It's not bootable. 
and click on OK and on exit. So then we need to go to install. In this case, I install German. It's for all languages the same. Right local. There it is the right local disk I found. So then back to install. It's very convenient with the rotary encoder. You can also make disks and swapping real disks. I found to use in uh, GoTech is very convenient in this case. So it says we can install version 3.2 on a hard disk so version 3.2 and i use automatic installation And I think I make a mistake. So start HD toolbox again. I think I forgot to create a partition. So, partition drive is this one. Delete partition. So here we again. I uh, have to find out where my mistake where um, it can't be working if you don't format your partitions. This cannot be working. So now we try the installation again. By the way, it's uh, the first time I install um, an Amiga OS to a hard drive, to a hard disk. So let's try. Yeah, and I try the. Oh, it's not validated. Oh, I see. So. 
So. Open HDD tools again and make this partition smaller. Okay, low level format. Yes. empty save changes exit and now we reboot and then we'll see so now we're back in workbench and you see we have a lot of uninitialized I'm a friend of uh, some partitions, so I use this on a PC also. So when one partition crashes, you don't lose all your data. If you have a system to store your data correctly, if you have no data in the other partitions and you save all in one then um, data is lost if you lost this partition so all partitions now uh, formatted and initialized let's try again
reboot. And now it should be loading from the HDD, from your SD card. Yeah, it's booting from the hard disk. And with 1.3 megabytes left. And you see we have glow icons. So clean up by type. Yeah. Bad template. Okay. Let's see. It's a little bit slow, it's an Amiga 600 in stock conditions. No, they need some upgrades. Yeah. Nice icons. It's a little bit slow. Let's see in screen mode. Click on use. Let's see if this looks. Yeah, so we have this. So, ah, the high resolution is loading. <laughs> Let's see if this looks like. Ah, looks not so great. I will change this later to normal high res. So, that's it. Installation done. Success. So, this is for this video. I hope I could show you how easy this is uh, on Amiga 600 to install Amiga OS 3.2. It was a lot of fun. It was new for me. You uh, have uh, seen this, it's, uh, I made some issues, but not 
the difficult. So um, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to uh, support the channel, subscribe. And so I see you on the next one.